Hey gang, Sam Ward here. We're continuing our series, Then Sings My Soul, looking at songs that lead us toward the cross and then maybe even to resurrection. This week, we're doing something totally different, an original song. Here we go. All right, so like I said, this is an original song. I'm a little nervous about this because the song that I wrote coming out of a songwriting workshop we've been doing over the last year, it's called Man of Suffering. And I want to walk you through it just a little bit and play you some of it. And then you can give me some feedback in the comments or in person. It started when I was digging into Isaiah 53 for an upcoming sermon series. And I read this, he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. That really hit me. He bore not our, just our sin, but our pain and our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we were healed. And then this happened. Despised, rejected, pierced, he took our pain, crushed, poured out, he bore our sin and shame. Jesus, the man of suffering. So then I went to verse 2, and verse 2 basically just told the story of Jesus dying on the cross for us. And he's Jesus, the man of suffering. Nailed in our place, dead in Joseph's cave. God, eternal, from heaven to the grave. Jesus, the man of suffering. suffering the chorus I was then thinking about revelation in revelation uh, 5 you have this amazing scene of worship the elders these amazing creatures all the people the angels they're all worshiping God together singing some shouting chanting and it culminates in this hymn, to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshiped. And so they just started to come out. Behold the Lamb, the great I am, who takes away our shame. From eternity, how can it be you stepped into my pain? Behold the Lamb, the great I am, who takes away our shame. How can it be from eternity you stepped into my pain? So then verse 3, it came out of Philippians and Hebrews. First of all, in Philippians, it says that Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing. And then we read about Jesus in Hebrews, where God says to Jesus, you are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. A priest forever. His mercy is for us because he is Jesus, the man of suffering. You step down for us, frail humanity. Priest forever. Your mercy is for me. Jesus, the man of suffering. Oh. So that's just a little bit of what we've been working on as a ministry and a songwriting workshop. But the goal of that is to help lead us to a deeper understanding, a different appreciation of experiencing the death of Jesus so that we can also experience his life. Jesus 
the one who died for us, Jesus, the man of suffering. 